So are you looking to learn about API testing? It's pretty simple. I mean, you go to Google, you just enter learn API testing, you search and you browse a little bit um, the results. And most of them will have a lot of information about what is API testing, how to do it, where does it all um, come in in the whole picture of um, testing. Um, but that's all good in theory. Um, what you really need to do is besides having um, all of this knowledge, all of this um, theoretical knowledge, is you need a couple of APIs to test. And you need them as diverse as possible and as nice or funny as possible. And in this video, I'm going to show you a couple. So the first one is the RESTful Booker. And this one is, um, so it has a nice format with the um, endpoints that you can call on the left side. And let's see if we want to have to get a booking, we just click on it. We have an example. So this is the request. And we have then examples. These are in curl. So this would give you a good opportunity to learn how um, you can maybe um, copy this request from curl and paste it into Postman. If you don't know how to do that, uh, I can show you in a video or you can just Google it and then um, use it. So this one is, is nice because well, it has it has a format which is pretty easy to read for, for users. You have the um, the example of the of the call. You have the parameters, which shows which tells you if they're optional or uh, mandatory, and you get uh, also an example of the response. Um, you can use it; it's it's free. Um, what it's nice about it is, I think every ten minutes, if I remember correctly, it refreshes. So um, if you've done some testing and you have made a lot of bookings, after ten minutes, um, you it will go back to its original um, state. Another one is the pet store, and this is in a Swagger format. So if you don't know Swagger, this is Swagger. <laughs> uh, it allows you to see, um, again, the endpoints of uh, the API in um, a structured fashion. And this one has way more endpoints um, than the rest for Booker and also a different format. So you have, see, we have uh, everything related to to pets, to the store, to the user. And how does it work? So let's take one, uh, for example, this one, when we create a user. So you, you click it, then you have the description. In the description, you have the parameters where it says, okay, you have a required body and the body should look like this. Okay, pretty simple. And well, let's just try it out. And we can actually modify this before, um, let's see, test one, test two, enter some password, phone, and let's give it a go. So you execute, and if all goes well, we have the response. And we have a response code of 200, which is perfect. And also, once we executed the call, we have, as before, we have the curl format for our call. So we can use this um, in uh, Postman, for example, again, um, to copy it and import it. And then we have everything that we need to also work in Postman. You can work from here as well to practice. And last but not least, um, it's not one uh, URL or it's not just one site or one API but it's a list of public APIs which you can use. As always, I'll post everything in the description of the video. So you have here a huge list of APIs. They're indexed alphabetically. So if you like animals, you have here, okay, I, we showed, um, we saw this one, which is um, a pet store. But if you're more of a, I don't know, cat person, just click on it and then you get redirected to the uh, site. And here you can, okay, we have API documentation, 
um, start developing and here we have the endpoints they're not many but the good thing is we have the full list here and we have uh, plenty to choose from so I believe it has about 100 or even more than 100 here and depending on what you like so you can choose ones which have, which have no authentication or ones which have different kinds of authentication so it's basically limitless as always thank you for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye